Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network lab review. Here we're looking at lab 51212, determining the designated router and the backup designated router. So, I've already let it run for about five minutes, so everything's already green, so step one's complete. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go verify the current SPF neighbor states. So how we do that is, let's hop on to RA. Let's get into our global config mode. Sorry, to our user exec mode. Let's do a show IP OS PF question mark. Oh, oops, if I uh, do show, not showing, show IP OS PF question mark. What we want to do is we want to look for neighbor. So our neighbor is 22 is our backup designated router. 33 is our designated router. So 33 is RC and 32 is RB. So the question is which is our designated router? That's RC. And what's our backup one? Our backup one is RB. Next let's go ahead and type debug IP OS, OS PF adjacencies and let's go into the same thing on B enable debug we're looking at specifically IP OS PF adjacencies so there they're turned on All right, so let's disable the link between RC and the switch, and this should cause a roll change. So we're going to wait 30 seconds for the dead timer to expire on RA and RB, and we're going to examine the debug output to figure out which is going to elect the DR and which one is going to elect the BDR. So let's go ahead and enable the T. We're going to interface dig 00, shutting it down. We're waiting for about 30 seconds while we're doing that. I'm looking at both of these. So I'm going to do another show IP OSPF neighbor. It's still showing. Oh, there we go. Here's our debug. We are building the appropriate information. So OSPF has elected the DR as 22, which happens to be RA, and it has elected the backup DR to be router A. Again, there they are right there. Alright, so that's taken care of, that's taken care of, that's taken care of. I'm going to scroll down. Alright, let's go ahead, let's do step five. Let's go ahead and re enable the link. So we're going to give it a few seconds. So we're going to wait. Uh, did it come up? It should not be coming up because rules did not change. The current designated router is still active. The current backup router is still active. So even though router C was a higher priority, it's not going to assume a higher role. Because again, the designated router is already working. So they're not going to do another election if they already have a working designated router. So let's go ahead and disable the link between RB and the switch. 
at gig zero zero. So we turned off the link between router B and everything else because router B was the designated router that should cause it to fell over. So the question then becomes, who is going to take the designated router? Well, previously the backup designated router was classified as A. When C became active again, even though it had a higher priority, it wasn't listed as a backup designated router. So, even though C is a higher priority, A will become the designated router, and C will become the backup designated router. So we're not quite done yet. It's still working. Let's do a show IP neighbor. Here we have again 33 showing backup designated router. Here we have the output 11, which happens to be the IP for router A is the designated router. So let's go ahead and restore the link on R2. Sorry, on router B. No shut. Again, router A is now the designated router. Router C is now the backup designated router. Router B will not become a designated router because, again, the designated router didn't have a change. So let's go ahead and undebug our routers. Debug. On debug all. So we just finished step set or step eight. Next, we're going to modify OSPF priorities. I'm going to close out all of these. Here is the next one. We're going to change the DR and BDR. We're going to do that by configuring the GABA 00 port on each of the routers with the following OSPF interface priorities. All right, so. C is going to keep the default of 1. Let's go to B. We're going to configure the gigabit interface. So if gig, we want to change the IP OSPF priority. We want to set this one to 100. We want to go to A, big P, again, int gig zero, IP OSPF, priority, this one we want to set to 200. All right, so we've done that. Now let's go ahead. The command OSP that we'll clear, we used on the routers to reset the OSPF. So this actually right here, exit. All right, so we can't do clear there. Can we do clear at the exact mode? So clear IP OSPF process. So I want to be able to do this on all the routers. We 
reset all OSBF process? Yes. Clear IP OSPF. Process. Yes. I don't have it, I do it on all of them. Clear IP OSPF. Process. Yes. And we're going to give it a little bit. And then we will see with a show, I, show IP OSPF neighbor to see if the election has been finished. So here we're showing this is a full, this is the backup router, which that is the right case. Show IP OSPF neighbor should so one with the priority of 200 and the full designated router. And that's right. So that's actually this lab in a nutshell. I want to thank you.